All praises to Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to Apostle Elders in New York, GMS, and Salutation to all around the world that's teaching the truth. My name is Maya Ka'ala, Baal Nagad, and with Chicago Branch of Great Millstone. Like I made a disclaimer that we are not black Hebrew Israelites. Black is a color, not a nationality. All right. Um, we're Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans. All right, and a confusion of faith scattered abroad. Okay, uh, we are not affiliated with any black identity in stream groups. All right, and um, you know, just we're here, just wanna, you know, um, uh, you know, this uh, basically like, you know, a lot of like history stuff on the tribes, and uh, another thing, um. You know, I like to talk about me and other brothers. Uh, you know, brother got a brother Kazak. Um, what's another brother name? Kazak. Um, he's he's you know, there's there's a lot also is like the history of tribes, but also like the chariots and uh, and the angels. You know, I like to talk about that too. Chariots, angels, and you know, uh, basically uh, spiritual experiences that our brothers had. Man, you know, maybe spiritual men they had um, encounters with angels, demons. And uh, you know, so on. all right, so uh, this is the book, um, uh, Real Monsters, uh, Gruesome Critters and Beasts from the Dark Side by Brad uh, Stagger, Brad Steiger. All right, maybe that's how you pronounce his name. You know, so a lot if I pronounce it wrong, please put in the comment how I pronounce it correctly, you know, so um. You know, the interest man got a lot of stuff, man. Got uh, Leviathans, uh, angels, demons. Uh, of course, the chariots, man. Was come with it, you know, along with the angels, man. So this is damn good book. He got a lot of good, good books, man. You know, of course, some stuff they going off and stuff like that. You have to remember that he even said, you know, but uh, some good stuff in here about the chariots, angels, and Leviathans and stuff, man. So just want to share this with you. Uh, it says flying humanoids over cities and farms. All right, so this is a chapter about flying humanoids, basically about uh, the angels, and also most I got creatures too. You know, it says um, the focus. It said the hospital and research laboratories in Iowa City. Iowa are some of the finest and most progressive United States. Many are associated with the United Uni sorry, Salak, with me associated with the University of Iowa, also in Iowa City, and conduct tests that lead to dramatic breakthroughs in medical science. All right, it said in the summer of 1971, I received an interest report from a nurse who was employed at one of the major hospitals in Iowa City, according to the woman who, in her her early 50s, she was driving to work one morning at dawn to assume her uh, position on the early show when she noticed a, a bit off in the distance where it appeared to uh, to be some object holding over the city. As she drew near, she made out what seemed to be a small case suspended by a thin line that led several feet above the object. All right. Since there was no helicopter or anything that attached to the line, she could not understand what could hold a cage stationary so high in the sky. All right. So this this woman seen a chariot. All right. All right. She seen a chariot. She didn't know what exactly she was looking at. All right. She gonna understand what could hold it, man. But you go to uh, let's see Ezekiel chapter one. All right, and this is the vision of Ezekiel had. You see right here, it says, Ezekiel chapter one, verse one, now it came to pass in the 13th year in the fourth month and the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captains by the river of, uh, of uh, uh, Kerbar, that the heavens were open, I saw visions of the Most High. And in the fifth day of the month, which, is, which was the fifth year of the King Jokahel captivity, the word Yahweh came expressly unto Ezekiel, the priest, the son of Buzi, in the land of Chaldeans by the river of Kabar. And the hand of Yahweh was upon him. 
And I looked, behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, a fire falling itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of mist there was a color amber, out of mist of a fire. All right, so he, um, you know, so off for that. All right, so he he's seen a chariot, man. All right. All right. Out of mist there came a likeness of four living creatures, and their parents, they had likeness of a man. All right, so they had likeness of man. Everyone had four faces. Everyone had four wings. And their feet were straight and the sole of their feet was like sole of a calf foot. All right, so they had feet, man, and the, and the, and the, the boots they wear is like, like basically like ninja boots, all right? But also stand for their purity. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass, all right? And they was uh, dark skin, all right? And they had hands of a man on... And they had hands of a man under their wings on four sides. They had four. They had, and they four had faces in their wings. And they had hands of man. I mean, the wings represent the chariots, man. All right. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned out wherever they went. And they went. Everyone went straight for us. So the the chariots where they went, wherever direction, all of them went to the same direction, man. All right. So this is lady scene. She's seeing the chariot suspended in in the air, man. All right, so right here it says, uh, it says, as she drew nearer to the object, she was shocked to discover that she could see quite densely the figure of a man dressed in a shiny form-fitting one-piece suit. All right. It said the man appeared to be gazing intently at the early morning traffic below him, although the nurse emphasized that he was too high for her to make out his features. All right, so this this angel he was observing, observing uh, everybody. He was basically observing important back to uh, to Yahweh, man. All right, what it said, the eyes eyes on what a sinful kingdom, man. All right, so so the angel he was he was he was uh let me get that scripture. All right. All right, so he was observing port man. The eyes represent the chariots, man. All right. All right, Amos chapter um, 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of Yahweh upon the sinful kingdom, and I will restore it from the face of the earth, saying that I will not early destroy the house of Jacob, said Yahweh. All right, the eyes represent the chariots, man. All right, it said, Behold, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. All right, and the sinful kingdom is what America. All right, so his angels reporting back what uh, Esau, the rest of the heathens, and you Jake's doing. <laughs> you know, during that time, all right, all right. So, uh, get this, all right. So, that's what he doing. He's report, man. All right. So it says right here. It says, um, it says when she arrived, um, when she arrived at the hospital, she spoke of the strange floating man to several of the staff. And to some of the patients, as soon as she had a moment to free her duties on the rounds with the doctor, she called her son-in-law, a member of Iowa City uh, Police Force, and asked him if he knew anything about a man in apparent metallic uh, suit dangling in a cage over the city. And of course, her, her inquiry, she made it clear that there was nothing visible above the strange individual that could support her. All right, so this this was a chariot, man. The nurse son-in-law knew that she was no nonsense woman who would not knowingly participate in a joke. She was a very frank woman who had absolutely no interest in strange objects, especially things like UFOs or paranormal experiences. On the other hand, her son-in-law was more open-minded about the strangeness and he called my associate, uh, Glenn McWayne, a former detective and a local businessman. All right. So right here it says, uh, who decided to investigate the mysterious floating man as soon as possible while he uh, 
might be more likely to locate others who have witnessed a strange incident. McWayne's later found a newspaper delivery boy who had also cited the man dangling from the sky at the time that the nurse had spotted him for, uh, let me see, it says, uh, further pursuit of the matter produced a laundry delivery man who had also had a good look at the stranger's sky. McWayne was persistent in his search for the witness until he had located quite a number of individuals who had been baffled by a man who appeared to be flying over the city without any type of aircraft supporting his cage. <laughs> All right, that was a chariot, man. It said this was conscious. This was a conscious, conscious. This was consensus that uh, the living, the living being inside the dang cage, I was with very thick chest. All right, he strong, had a strong chest. His arms and legs, what uh, could be seen in them, seem also proportionally thicker than the average man all right so yeah the angel gonna be more powerful than the average man no one no one had clearly seen the being's face but they agreed that it was darker than his shiny suit all right okay so he was used a so-called black man all right the angel all right so there you go man when it says um you know when it says his um let me see right here. All right. And they sparkle like color, burnished brass. All right. You go to Ezekiel uh, chapter 40. <clears throat> it's another uh, scripture that describes the color of, uh, of the angel. All right. There's a man, uh, Ezekiel seeing uh, um, another vision to show you what the angel looked like. It says right here, it says, uh, in the vision of, of, of Yahweh brought he me into the land of Israel, sent me upon a very high mountain, that which was at the frame of a city on the south. And he brought me there. Behold, there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of brass, what color brass brown, with a line of flats in his hand, a measuring reed, and he stood in the gate. All right. So there you go right there. It said, who appearance was like, it said, there was a man whose appearance was like a who appearance was like the appearance of brass. So this, this angel was so-called black. All right, brown skin, man. All right. So this is what these people's uh, um, alluding to, man. Okay. It says right here, I'm going to go down here. The cage like a apparatus, which is the stranger stood, seemed to have been enclosed what have what appeared to be vertical bars. The cage itself appeared to be egg-shaped. All right. The being did move about inside a cage. Woman observed that he probably having definite, definite feeling that he was looking down at her. <laughs> Through the police, it was learned that a few formal reports had been called that morning. Officers made a stand ever to identify probably what witness had seen. Checks were conducted at local airport to find out if any helicopters might have been in the area. Such lead drew blanks. No helicopter, no, no or small plane was in the sky over Iowa City during that time. A reference supplied by the witness. All right, it says right here the nurse police police son admitted officially to McWayne that he believed he could determine the identity of he could he could uh, determine the identity of a man in a cage through routine police grade. He confessed that he could not solve the mystery. He just maybe the line was was uh, that some. It says right, maybe the line that some witnesses, including the law, had reported dangling from the cage had led to a flying saucer that remained invisible to observers. All right. Yeah, it was chariot, man. All right. That's all it was. So he, he had to give it up. All right. He, so he had to confess. All right. So that was the chariot, man. All right. And uh, he got another interesting case I meant to bring out. Um. Another case of an angel. All right. And I've seen this years ago, man. It's going back to 2007. All right. It said, according to the Weird News Asia, the internet tourists met uh, September 2007 in Gemini, in Romania. A score of villages were, were heard by police also about their sighting of a flying character who resembled Superman. According to the states, which are similar, the character flew above the houses in his shiny blue outfit 
in upright position uh, at a speed described as normal, approximately 100 meters above the ground without any sound or smoke. It does not seem it was considered that the flying Superman could have simply a part balloon imprinted or the shape of the famous comic strip character, man. All right, so we uh, did okay, two, two, two um, uh, so-called Jewish guys, they had made Superman. All right, where do you think they get this from, man? They had knowledge of the, the scriptures was the Torah and uh and they had script you know not the scriptures, you know, called there is lights and the angels, man. You know. What's in the scripture says what Daniel's was it says uh the wicked uh basically says um uh, in Ezekiel twenty eight three that basically the wicked he saw is more wiser than Daniel, man. Meaning that he's he, he's 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 uh and, and uh, you know, he's got knowledge, man. All right. So where do you think they get this from, man? <laughs> All right. It says right here, Superman's official superhero. The character was created by writer Jerry Siegel and Joel Schuster and first appeared in Action Comics number one, a comic book published in April 18, 1938. All right. So these people, they see in a figure like that, man. We think... Uh, uh, Jerry Siegel and Joe Suss got it from, man. This is the Bible, man. All right, in the history, you know. Okay. So you got like the the, the, shine, the, the shiny blue suit as the people report it, man. All right. You just probably like to laugh at their laugh at the angels at their outfits. Let's see what happened to your ass. All right, it says, uh, all right. And you can see right here, basic information table. All right, you can see a report. All right. All right. Then down here it says, uh, under headline, police pro Superman site, a weird new ace indicate that the police are investigating almost 20 villagers from Gemini, uh, Methendity County. Romania claimed has seen a Superman-like figure flying through the sky wearing a shiny blue suit. The police all took written statements from all the witnesses say they described the figure in the same way. <laughs> it's a local policeman. The quarter we talked to to people of different ages who are all reliable citizens in our village. They all said they saw this strange creature who flew over their houses in this shiny blue costume. We had just see what happens next. He looked like Superman, and he was flying slowly at 100 yards from the ground in the sand position. He did not make any sound of smoke, just cruising around. <laughs> All right. So, you know, there you go, man. All right. So, you know, the, the, the angels are real. All right. So, uh, you know, uh, hey, Shalom.